if you have table of posts and comments, how to query the last comment of each post. So in this case, title, post text and last comment. In the database, we have comments table with post ID. So how to query that relationship, but only the last row. In this video, I will show you two ways to do that. First with eloquent relationship and second with sub queries. And we will test it and we will see which is faster or more convenient. And here we are in our post controller and here's the relationship that we actually need. The first way is to query with relationship. So we create specific relationship in post model last comment. Although the original relationship is has many comments, in this case we create has one comment with latest, which means it will take only the last record by created at. And then if we load that relationship in the controller like this and get all the posts, this is the result visually. And if we open Laravel debug bar to see what queries have been executed, here's the list of queries. Select from posts and then select from comments by post ID order by created at descending. So it's a pretty typical eager loading. And then in your view file in index blade, you just load this. So post last comment is the row that contains the last comment. And then you can use whatever fields created at or other fields from comments table. It looks pretty cool, but there is one problem with that. Laravel debug bar started showing not only queries, but the amount of models that are saved in the memory. So that query select star from comments actually loads all the comments into the memory. So each comment object is stored in RAM. And at some point you may run out of memory. Although actually what we need is the last comment timestamp, only one field, but instead we're loading the whole model. And in the model tab of Laravel debug bar, you can see that app comment is thousand models. So there is a way how to avoid that with sub queries that appeared in Laravel 6. And here's how it looks in the code. We add a sub select, so sub query with a field of last comment. So this will be the result of that query. And that query is comment select created add. So we select only one field where column equals comment post ID equals post ID from this eloquent model. And then we order by created add descending. So same latest. And then we take only one row. And as a result, we will have that last comment, not as eloquent object, but only as one field, which is exactly what we need. So in our index blade, we don't need created at here. We will have last comment as the timestamp itself. So we save, refresh, and let's see what queries are loaded and how many models do we have. The data is still the same. Models are 1000 less, so we don't have comments as models. And let's see what query it is. Select from posts, and then it has sub queries. Select created at from comments limit one order by created at. So for each of the posts, there is a sub query for comments. And if we try to load both of those queries and see in debug bar, the speed of the queries, the performance. So instead of those two queries, you have one query, two queries is two milliseconds and 13 milliseconds. Instead, you have one query, which is slower than the original one, but is still faster than two combined. So if you need only one column from related relationship row, the newest or the oldest, subqueries is the way to go. I hope it was helpful. I have a lot of videos about Eloquent. One of them is in the corner below, so you can continue watching my content. Also subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.